welcome to the Mighty Marvel Show with me, Paul, and it is Marvel Legends unboxing time. Woohoo! We love it. One of my favorite ever shows to do because not only do I get to talk about Marvel stuff, I get to show some cool Marvel stuff as well. And we're talking mutants. Don't know what gave it away in this episode. Let's have a look at mutants. We've got some new figures from the new House of X wave of Marvel Legends. What is House of X? I'll tell you in a minute. But we've got Magneto. And we've also got Cyclops. Okay, awesome. Right, what is House of X? So House of X is a comic book series created by Jonathan Hickman in 2019, which has basically reset the entire mutant trajectory in their storyline. The All mutants are together on the island, uh, sentient island of Krakoa. Uh, led by Charles Xavier, but there is a council of all different types of mutants. So you have heroes, villains, all together, all trying to work for the good of all mutant kind and protect all mutants. They are a sovereign nation. They have recognised status and there's been amazing storylines that have come out of it. And even more important, if you're a Marvel's Legends collector or fan, there's been some new costumes out of it as well. It's been awesome. The comic is great. There was uh, two six issue limited series at the start there's house of x and powers of 10 or x which everyone to say but it was 10 so house of x and powers of 10 and those two have set the um the storyline now for mutants going forward and it's led to some really cool stories and some really cool characters and some really cool costumes so that's what we're going to look at now so the house of x wave just coming now was announced back in the end of 2020 so i've been eagerly waiting this wave you have in this wave you have professor x charles xavier you have Magneto, you have Cyclops, you have Wolverine, you have Marvel Girl, which is Jean Grey, you have Omega Sentinel, and you have Moira McTaggart, who is integral to the new direction for the mutant. So, keep an eye on that. So, that's the way they create the uh, Tri-Sentinel Builder figure, which looks weird and excellent. So, that's a really cool Builder figure. So, today, I'm going to be looking at the Magneto figure and Cyclops. So, let's start with Magneto, one of my favourite ever Marvel characters anyway. Just awesome. A, a tragic origin, origin story, but you really understand his motivations in terms of wanting to protect and bring together all mutant kind. Hasn't always gone about it the right way, as we know. However, so here's the box for the Marvel Legends figure, and here's the back, and here's some awesome artwork from the the figure. Now, this was... Um, uh, Leno Yu was working on the on the original storyline. And the boxes are great. So, everything within the boxes is very similar, the design and the style, to what we've had in the, the comic book. And Jonathan Hickman likes to give you, you know, sort of large chunks of text within the comic book to explain some of the background and the story that is that is going on and build it into the story. And that's what we're, we're getting here. So, the boxes are great. You've actually got artwork, so from the series on the side, which is brilliant. And on the back there, and again, there you can see, there's your list of all the figures that you get in this wave, a wave of seven. There's a Magneto. Let's have a look at the Cyclops box. So, move Magneto out of the way. So, Cyclops figure, it's an amazing costume, absolutely fantastic figure. And there's the back, again, artwork from it. Same artwork on the side, which is great, one to keep, for definite. And what you've got, again, in this in this Cyclops is you've got, as you've seen in, in previous Marvel Legends, you have the, the change of the head. You have the one with the, where his um, quartz um, optic rays are about to shoot out. And then you actually have the ability to shoot them out as well. So that's really cool. So what do we do next? You know what we do next? Let's get these bad boys out the box. Okay, we've got them out of the box. Let's have a look. First of all, is there any artwork? Yes, there is artwork. Love a bit of artwork in the box, as anyone who knows who's seen these episodes before. Love a bit of artwork. Now, what you've got here, you have got, it's very clever. It's very much in keeping with the branding in the um, X-Men comic book series that Hickman's been doing. You have, you can just about see Magneto written in the, like, Krakoan text. We've also got... Cyclops. So we've got the X. You can see the Cyclops. That's pretty cool. So keep that. I like to cut, cut those out and keep those. I'm very pleased with those. Let's put those out of the way. And now more importantly, let's look at the figures. Let's start with Magneto. Boom. That's beautiful. Look at it. Excellent. Absolutely excellent figure. Really good. I mean, great detail. Again, on the cape. You know, one of the big features of Magneto is the cape and the helmet. 
there we go we've got the white and silver version here with the costume um the chest piece you've got the bend in the chest you've got this sort of uh newer style bend in the chest there on the abdominals that's great the pins on the arms and the joints very subtle so it's a real test of a character with the white very subtle on there which is great um now interestingly and i'm going to bring in the cyclops figure at the same time here which again I mean, equally fantastic. The detail is, is superb. Same thing again. Let's put Magneto down. Same thing again. The crunch on the stomach. See? Very well defined. Very subtle. The pin work is great. It's almost impossible to see it on the arm joints here. That's brilliant. So absolutely, really, really cleverly woven in design there. To see that is brilliant. That's really... Well done, that. and that makes a hell of a lot of difference when you're getting into the posing and the detail on the pictures. So that's great. Now, interestingly, there's a bit of a mixed bag with the accessories that come with these. So let's get the builder figure stuff out of the way first. So with the Cyclops box, there you go. You have the left arm of the Tri Sentinel, and with the Magneto figure. Funny enough, because it's a Tri Sentinel, you have one. Two, three heads, which you'd expect for a tri-sentinel. The Cyclops, you have the secondary head, as we talked about there, with the, uh, the, the quartz ray ready to shoot, and you obviously have the actual ray to come out, so you can obviously put that in and get the full, the full Cyclops laser beam pose with a finger to the head, as you can see goes on on the, my original Cyclops figure here. But you have hand with magneto so you have two fists of the same and two reaching out ready to project magnetic power hands you don't have a secondary head for magneto so there is no helmet off head which is feature we've seen on uh, other previous magneto figures you have the second one with like the white you know the silvery white hair that magneto has you don't have that and you don't have any spare hands with the Cyclops figure. So there's a bit of a mixed bag there, which I understand that you've got three heads in for the Tri-Sentinel, but one of the key things with Magneto, particularly within the, um, within a lot of stories, you know, Magneto doesn't hide his identity. It's not it's not something that he keeps a secret. Uh, the helmet isn't there for, for the purposes of, of covering up his face and his identity. So an unhelmeted Magneto is something which is, we, we've seen over the years in, kind of as familiar seeing that type of magneto as we are seeing the magneto with the helmet on so that's a bit of a shame that there isn't a a secondary helmet with that it's a bit of a disappointment that we don't have that for magneto it's not as bad an issue with the cyclops that there aren't the two uh different types of fist because obviously you've got the you know as you'd expect put in the shape there hand up hand up to the visor you know to obviously be able to getting ready to be shooting out his lasers. But you don't have what I would maybe like a, a, a flatter hand or, or a gripping hand. We don't have any of that with the with the Cyclops. So I don't want to moan too much because it's obviously a massive first world problem. But it is a bit of a shame that we're not seeing those um, extra with the with these two figures. That, so that is a bit of a shame. I mean, in terms of the figures themselves, there's absolutely no complaint. I mean, the detail on the Cyclops utility belt there is fantastic. You know, really, really sort of uh, intricate. You get a real sense of that being being functional as it would be for the character. It is it is great. These are awesome characters. You know, Cyclops is, is such a great character. The same with Magneto as well. You know, I'm really, really pleased with those with those figures. It's going to gently stand Cyclops up there. There we go. So really, really pleased with that. Minor gripes about the the, the types of accessories you get because it's a bit of a mix. Would have liked a second head for uh, Magneto. Would have liked some more hands for Cyclops. They're not there, but in terms of the actual figure, there's no complaints on those figures. So let's have a little bit more look at the details of those again. So here's the Magneto. I mean that that is great. Again, I, I love what I love. Absolutely love what Marvel Legends or Hasbro do with the with the cloaks, the capes of figures that have them. They really really get into like that. You know, excellent billowing effects. So you can really do something smart with them when you're doing posing. And again with the Cyclops figure. Again, that's a really cool costume. I love this costume. It's got a tactical look to it, but it keeps like a classic-y sort of superhero 
look and feel to the costume it really works for that for that character as well that sort of that seriousness that, that you get from scott summers as uh as cyclops so so they're great so very very happy with those two um more to come in this wave these were the first two that dropped through for my pre-order so really pleased to get those so i wanted to share those with you straight away an excellent addition to what i'm now building with my own little island of krakoa with all my various little uh mutant figures uh, along the way so that's it for this episode hope you enjoyed this little look at these figures and if you have give it a little like and a little subscribe would be great thank you very much that's it for me see you again on another episode very soon <laughs>